We got us another edge rusher, Preston Smith. Shout out to Preston. Um, obviously, like I said, we traded a seventh round pick to the Green Bay Packers for Preston. Um, man, he's been in the league for a minute, too. Ten years, man. Uh, started out and watched him with, I think they were the Redskins back when he was there. And he's been in Green Bay pretty much ever since, man. Um, I think he has, let me see, I think he has one double-digit sack season. He's pretty much a seven to eight, yeah, yeah, yeah. He had the 12 sack season that first year in Green Bay, him and uh, Zadarius Smith, when they was tag-teaming, going nuts out there. But ultra-consistent pass rusher, man, going to flirt in that seven to eight and a half. Um, high end is going to be 10 more than likely. Um, could play the run at a high level. Big body. Like, when you look at him, he looks like a true 3-4 outside linebacker. He's not undersized. He's not no small dude. Um, but, yeah, knows how to ball, man. Knows how to produce at the level. Has been Batman um, before. And he's also been Robin before. And at this stage, if you're putting him in a scenario where, number one, he's your third rusher. Because right now we're still waiting on Herbert to come back from the hamstring. But then you bring a Herbig back into this. When I tell you, if everybody is healthy, you legit are going to have that two-man type team where, hey, man, TJ and Heisman, if y'all cooking real quick, all right, come off for a little bit, all right, Z uh, Preston and Dave going Herbig, y'all go in there, y'all get off for a little bit, all right, get them back out of there. Just the ability to keep all four of those guys fresh because all four of those guys can win one-on-ones at a high level by themselves without having to blitz which is the most important part we talk about how we plan on you know beating some of these other uh mobile athletic quarterbacks it's like yo you don't want to blitz those guys too often you want to be able to have your front four get after them contain them bring them down and keep all your guys in the secondary which we've been able to do thus far but to me man the preston smith move is a high quality high-end third guy worst case Worst case third, but if a TJ, if a Highsmith went down, you still feel confident that, yo, we're going to be varsity at outside linebacker going forward. Like, we're going to be straight with that. Yeah, I think it's a great pickup. Yeah. And only for a seventh-round pick, too. Mm -hmm. And I'm seeing some stuff with this contract. Uh, Wally Locke's got a comment here, but initially— the Mike Williams contract was dope, but, yeah, this one I think is even well, better. Yeah, because yeah. with Mike Williams— He's got the – it's just this year. Right? So it, we're taking yeah. on the full contract, but we don't got to worry about 2025 right. and going forward. Mm -hmm. With Preston Smith, I saw that it was either a salary next year or his cap number was at $12 million, mm -hmm. But this comment from Wally Locke mm -hmm. says the Steelers aren't taking any dead money on the Smith trade. So that means the Packers are going to account So is he for just going to be a free agent then you talking after the season? Yeah. yeah, probably. Yeah. Okay, good for us then. Mm -hmm. Good for us. So if we want to resign him, we can. Kind of just set a better right number. Yeah. Because if cause I'm trying to think the way it would have worked, I gotta see how many years he has left on his deal. Actually, I don't know. It, yeah, it was at least how many next years year. He has left. Yeah, and I it was gonna be twelve left. something. Yeah. But I like where we at though, man. Um, they're also Country Malik is saying that uh, <laughs> Trey White just got sent over to Baltimore as well. He was with the Rams earlier this year too man so still getting some movement going on i see you Steelers girl 517 also reiterating the uh Tre davis white trade he of course he goes to the ravens he ain't in buffalo no more so it's all right bro he was nice in buffalo it's a different version i get, get he's on the downside but of course it's just the ravens move yeah of course big yeah. name guy a mm -hmm. little bit over the hill but you know they, yeah, they're gonna get the most out of him too. maybe you hopefully, know they not. Get hopefully not calvin i don't Roy. know what he's been doing with the rams there's gotta be a reason he's available with the Rams, they were trying to play him like it was Buffalo and, you know, just slipping a little bit. You know how it go, though, I've man. I've seen when, Witherspoon out there with the Rams. Yeah. But you know how it go, man. When you go from trying to be like even know a shadow that. follower got around, yeah, yeah, yeah. You, mm, that's, that's, when you start to, you know, get a little up there, show a little bit at that position. So, yeah. Preston Smith move. Like yeah, this is this is the unsung man. move. I like the that deadline. a lot, dude. I know we were talking about receiver a lot, but with Herbig being out, and like you said, it looks like this hamstring with him was worse than was being let on, so he might not even be back for another few weeks. Yeah, because I saw even, uh, and we might get a chance to talk about some of the Coach Tomlin stuff, man, but he brought his name up when he was talking about guys potentially coming back from injury. Obviously, he still kind of left it at, with all those guys, man, they're 
practice availability will kind of dictate and determine who's going to be out there or not. But yeah, the way it seems or the way that all the tea leaves surrounding her big hamstring, it just seems like it's a little bit more significant than the, oh, it's a slight tweak or, oh, he felt it getting tight and he pulled up. This kind of gives me, yo, did he actually pull it vibes? And then to go actually see you bring in a Preston Smith, I'm hoping this kind of what I'm saying. Yo, you trying to have a four-headed monster out there, everybody healthy, everybody good, versus they're legitimately concerned about when Herbig will be available to come back. So if it's going to be a, a good amount of time still, we need somebody in here right now. Yeah. I'm hoping it's not that. But either way, the Preston Smith move is, a, a, I think, a nice, nice addition. Right. Short-term replacement for Herbig being out, and then long-term just an extra quality guy because we were calling for that even going back to the off season mm -hmm. we, we know we knew we already had herbig and tj and highsmith but that fourth guy was lacking so that's why we mentioned signing maybe a bud dupree or just yeah. you know someone like a marcus golden and i think that's essentially what preston smith is going to be bringing to the table because we never did sign or trade for that guy in the off season we went into right. the season with the big three and then uh, who's been our fourth is it jerry has it been jeremiah moon Pretty much, it's yeah. been him, and I don't know. We've called a couple guys up Moon, recently. Moon got the start when everybody was hurt. Yeah, yeah. So he's been like so the next Preston man. Preston Smith's definitely better yeah. than Moon, and then for the short term, with Herbig being out, he'll be our third guy. Yeah. Hey, if, yeah. If he's cooking too, maybe he stays our third guy. I mean, it doesn't really matter. That's what I'm saying. Like you, especially at that position, because they all are going to get opportunity to rotate in, and you can only play ten plays and get you a sack, and it's a great day for you. So it's like, yeah. with that part, I just think it's easier to manage all of those guys' participation. It's easier to manage all of those guys' egos, so to speak, because everybody's knowing they're going to get a chance at some point. You might only get 15 plays, but if five of them are guaranteed third downs, you are not tripping if you're a pass rusher. And I just think that he, like with Terrell Austin, Coach Simon, they're going to have some flexibility now with him being in the fold, man. He's also a guy that you can line up in the interior, man. Um, not as a true three technique, but we've seen when we've had three rushes and we've I think it was Nick Herbig, they put inside over the guard and let him walk around a little bit. Preston Smith's another one of those guys who's done that before and can definitely do that with our, you know, offense. Because I personally feel like Highsmith, I like him better just handing the ground going. Even with TJ, I feel like when you kind of walk him around, it kind of takes away from him a little bit. But with Preston... He's capable of doing that. He is a little bit, like I said, a thicker frame. Yeah. So I think that's part of what like kinda aids him. Looks like it. Lamar Woodley. Low key, he does. Yeah. So I think like that kind of aids him a little bit. Whereas we know with TJ, a lot leaner and stuff. Yeah. Good moves. Yeah, man. I, I don't think we're gonna have another one, but we still got thirty-five minutes. Yeah. So I'm just. But so those are the two, really. We, we said one on defense. We said Heck if we yeah. weren't gonna trade for a receiver, get another edge rusher. Heck yeah, man. We got two quality guys. Like I said, I like where we at, man. Wouldn't have minded DeAndre Hopkins instead of Mike Williams, but hey. <laughs> the boy said, yo, how'd D Hop go there? It looked great last night. Like, bro, did you see the one he cut in triple coverage over the over the shoulder like this, bro? I was just looking like, yo, I don't even care about the throw. The throw was great, but that kid, do you know how hard that is on a crowd like that, bro? Yeah, shout out to D Hop, bro.